So hi guys, our discussion for today is about the rules and regulation of badminton, no? And uh, disclaimer lang, okay? Ang um, video na ito ay naglalaman ng uh, para ang lesson na ito ay naglalaman ng video kung saan uh, kinuha ko sa YouTube galing kay uh, Coach Kenny Asuncion no? upang mapag-aralan natin ang nasabing uh, lesson which is yung rules and regulation nga ng badminton. No? So sa video na ito is i-discuss niya ang um, uh, basic rules sa badminton. No? So, okay, uh, sabay-sabay natin mapanoorin at pag-aralan ito. No? So, at panginitay natin, isang mabilis lang. Tara! Yan. So, dito, i-discuss niya una ang uh, badminton rules for singles. Okay. The first thing you, you need to know about singles is the fact that it is until 21 points per game or set. Okay? But you have to win two out of the three games or set. Now, the scoring is until 21, but should there be instances that you and your opponent are both tied at 20 all, then the first player who gets two consecutive points will win that particular game. Okay? So, if you keep on going 21 all, 22 all, 23 all, the maximum score will be 30. So that's it. Whoever gets to 31st wins that game. Okay? So now, um, the umpire will be tossing a coin or maybe, you know, throwing the shuttle, tossing the shuttle, and whoever the court will point to gets to serve. So whoever is serving will have to start from the right side because all even numbers should be served from the right side and all odd numbers will be served on the left side. Now for singles, the court is slightly smaller. This outer area is sort of cancelled out or meaning if the shot goes there, that's already considered out. So if your opponent hits the shuttle somewhere in this area or somewhere in this area, you don't need to hit the shuttle and it's an automatic point for you. However, if you hit the shuttle back, then the rally just continues. Okay. Another crucial point for that is the fact that when the cork of the shuttle hits the line but bounces out, that is still considered in. Okay, so be very, very careful. And I would always say that if you're not certain that the shuttle is out, you might as well hit it back to your opponent. So you start to serve from the right side because the score is zero all. So rally then continues. If you do get the point, then you just shift to the left side to do your serve. Okay, when you are serving, you must stay within your box. Okay? So service will only be from this area. If you happen to step on the lines of the front or on the side, you could be called fault by the umpire or service judge. So you must stay inside the box as a server or as a receiver. After hitting, okay, so all the serves are diagonal. Now, if this player is serving to this player, it has to be diagonal and it has to be inside the box. Okay, again, stressing out that the outside part is already considered out. So, the player has to serve within this box. If the serve lands here, that is called short or considered out. So, you must serve it diagonal inside this box okay after the serve you can go to the middle and continue on with the rally okay do take note that when the serve is on the wrong side of the court but the opponent hits it anyway then the rally just continues another question if the serve if the shuttle hits the net does it you know, is it a fault or is it considered in? If the shuttle being served 
hits the net but still lands inside the designated area, then the opponent must hit it back. Otherwise, it will be the point of the server. So, for instance, you get another point from the rally, then you just switch. So, you follow the score of the server. So, for instance, player A gets another point. So, the score is 2. Player A serves from the right side. Player B, opponent, has to go diagonal and also stay on the right side. So, you follow the server's score to know where you have to stand. So, okay, the rally continues. This time, player B gets the point. And the score now becomes 1-2. So, what happens? Again, you follow the score of the server. So, server is player B, 1, 1, 2. So, you follow the score of player B. So, it just continues on from the rally, getting the points. Okay? So, it doesn't matter if it's your serve or if you're receiving, you can get the point as long as you get the rally. Okay? Just again, to stress it out, if the shuttle ongoing shuttle hits the line and bounces out that is considered in but if the shuttle lands outside but bounces somehow back in it's considered out so those are crucial crucial rules of the game what do they look at they do not look at the feather of the shuttle they look at where the cork lands first so if the cork lands on the line and bounces out, that's in. But if the cork lands out and bounces in, that's still out. Okay? So when a person is serving, it has to be diagonal, same with the receiver. But after that, you can hit it anywhere. Anywhere as long as it's within this box. This outer part of the court is considered outside. Okay? Same with the lines at the back. If the shuttle lands and touches the, the end line but bounces out, that's still in. That's why it's very important to have line judges because when you're playing, sometimes it's really hard to see where the shuttle landed and specifically where the cork touched first. Okay, It's not where the feather touched but about the cork. Now, if the rally is ongoing, and shuttle somehow again hits the net but manages to go in you must take it and you must play it back okay because that's still considered in it's never a fault okay now for the server or receiver you must stay within your box do not stand on the lines whether in the middle or the front Okay, you have to stay within your boxes for the service and the receiving. Aside from the fact that you cannot step on the line, when you are serving, you are not supposed to lift your feet. Okay? Upon contact of the shuttle, you're not supposed to lift the feet. After hitting the shuttle, then you can lift and move back to the middle. Okay? So you can only raise your heel slightly when you serve but you cannot lift the feet because the service judge will call you fault okay. now when you are scoring at 11 points you can stop and take a you know take a rest take a sip of water if you have a coach at the back waiting for you the coaches can come to the side and speak to you at 11 points Whoever gets the point first at 11, doesn't matter, but you take a break. Whether it's your opponent that got to 11 first or you got to 11 first, you take a break for 60 seconds. So a coach or maybe a friend could come in and talk to you just for 60 seconds. Then you have to go back on court and continue with the game. Now, whoever reaches 21 wins that first game and you have to move and change sides of the court but before going back in there's another two minute break for coaching and you know extra tips from your friends or coaches 
before you actually go back. So you switch sides and continue the game. Now, if you've won the first game and won the second game, then there's no need to play the third game. Okay, the third set, the third game, you don't need to play it. If you've won two straight sets, that's it. But if both of you win one set each, then you have to go for a third game. Third set, third game. So again, you will have that two minute interval, two minutes for coaches to come and talk to you, then you switch sides. But at 11 points, again, you have your 60 second rest. Go and speak to your coaches. And then you have to switch sides at 11. Okay, so it's kind of like evening the, the score and evening, you know, staying on one side of the court. Additional tip, when the rally is ongoing and a shot was hit outside, going out, but the player hits it, again, the rally must continue, okay? However, if this person, person A, hits the shuttle, which was out, and B didn't get it, then A gets the point. When the game is done and you've won two straight sets or won via three games or three sets, normally after the game, you come forward the net, you shake hands, and go to the umpire to shake the hands of the umpire and the service judge as well. So, I know that was the rules for the singles event. Okay, and then now, uh, let's proceed to manage the uh, uh, rules for doubles events. Uh, so, uh, same as uh, singles event din naman ito, but syempre may mga konting uh, kalituhan pagdating sa kung saan ka pupuesto, halimbawa na magsaserve yung uh, kakampi mo. Ayan. So, ayun yung uh, dapat malaman natin, no? And so, okay, let's watch it again. The scoring for doubles is pretty much like singles in the sense that it is up to 21 and, and the pair must win two out of three of the games. So the only time that you will exceed the score of 21 is when both sides are at 20 all. So whichever side that gets two consecutive points will win that game, that set. Now, if the score keeps continuing on 21 all, 22 all, 23 all, the maximum score is only 30 for one game, one set. So whoever gets to it first wins that first game or set. Then you switch sides. Now, if you win two straight games or two straight sets, then there's no need to go on a third set. The only time you go to a third set is if it's one all, meaning you've won one game and your opponent won another game. Okay, so to start the umpire, for example, it's me, I will be tossing a coin or maybe throw, toss the shuttle up, and whoever the court is pointing to will get the serve. So in this case, this side will get the serve first. Okay, so where do you stand and where do you serve? It doesn't matter who, who starts to serve on your end. So if purple player will start to serve, purple player starts from the right side. Okay, white player stays on his side or her side. Okay, so the only receiver of purple player's serve will be green player. Red player cannot take the serve. If by some chance, purple player serves the green and it's somewhere here in the middle and by accident, player red hits it, it's automatically stopped and players purple and white automatically gets the point. So from the serve of purple player, again, only diagonal. But this time, the box is smaller where purple player has to serve to if player if purple player serves in this area that is considered short or out if purple player serves here at the back 
that is also considered out. It's considered long or out. If purple player serves to the wrong side of the court, then red and green doesn't need to hit it. They automatically get the point. Okay, so this is the box. No front, no back. But that's only for the serve. After the serve, anybody can hit it. It doesn't matter. It's only for the service receiving that it is specific as to who will serve and who will take the serve. Okay, so again, another question I, I would think that you would be asking is that when the serve hits the net, is it a fault? No, it's not. As long as it goes inside the box, then it's considered in. And green player must hit it and go on with the rally. So, since purple player serve, rally goes on. If purple and white gets the point, then they just switch sides and it will be the same server. Okay? So, you follow whoever is serving whoever will be serving you follow their score so in this case if it's an odd number since they got the first point which is one then purple player will serve from the left side they switch sides okay so rally goes on team green and red gets the point who will be serving they get one point so odd number person on the left side previously would be the one serving so you always follow the server's score so in this case one player red will be serving okay and the score is one all so again rally if if this side red and green gets the point since red served previously then red will serve again they just switch sides and now it's two one okay rally purple and white gets the point so now the score is two all for purple and white being two and even number player white gets the serve so player white will be serving the shuttle so it continues on that way with regards to rally and whoever gets the rally gets the point it's a matter of who is the one serving okay if your side was previously the, the one that served then it will be the same server but if it's not then it will depend on your point but again even even number four is being served from the right side and odd numbers will be served from the left side Another rule of the game is that you cannot double hit at any point of the game. Double hit could mean one player hitting the shot twice before letting it go in, which is not allowed. Or it is possible that, for example, purple player is in front and white player is at the back. And this is the shuttle. The shuttle comes in. Purple player tries to reach for it, slightly touches the shuttle, but it did not move or change direction and white player hits it back in it's automatic that you stop that rally and you call it a touch because they touched it twice and so the point automatically goes to red and green player okay so in this positioning um you cannot hit double hits okay whether the shuttle comes in the middle and then both of you actually touch the shuttle and hit it back, that is an automatic point for the other side. Okay, now again, when the score gets to 11, it doesn't matter which side got to 11 first, but you stop for an interval, a 60 second interval, wherein you and your partner can go out of the court just within the area, wipe your sweat, maybe change your racket, talk to each other or a coach comes in so for 60 seconds quickly for tips and reminders and after that you go back to the court so rally goes on a pair wins the game let's let's just say player white and purple wins the first set or first game then 
again, you can take a break. You switch sides, take a break on the side, but this time the break gets longer. So this time, it's a two-minute interval. So for two minutes, you can talk to each other or maybe a coach or a co-player comes in to give you tips or reminders. And then you go back in on your court. Again, for example, let's just say player white and player purple won the first game for first set. On the second set, they get to serve first. Okay? So it doesn't matter who wants to serve first, but whoever is on the right, since the score is zero all and an even number, person on the right starts to serve. So in this case, player white starts to serve, serving the player red. Okay? So, you continue on, and whoever reaches 21 wins that second set. Now, if player white and purple wins the second set because they won the first set already, there's no need to go for a third set. But if they lose that game, then again, they have to switch sides with a two-minute interval once again. So, the intervals will be twice in each game or set at 11 and 21 or maximum of 30. So for the interval of 11, you have 60 seconds and for the interval for switching sides of the court, then you get two minute interval. So if we are on our third set, once again, whoever won the second set gets to serve on the second set, on the third set first. So third set, since so one set each, second set was won by red and green. So red and green starts to serve for the third set. Okay, third and final set. At 11, we break for interval of um, 60 seconds. But then at 11 on the third set, you switch side once again. Okay, so that's basically it. Um, a server can only serve to a certain receiver. The receiver is the only one who can hit that first serve from the opponent. And then after, it can be anybody's. So that's where rotation and good teamwork follows next. Additional tip, in doubles, at any point, no player when the rally is ongoing, no player should touch the net. Whether it's your racket that touches the net or you, your body physically touches the net, it's an automatic point for your opponent. If your foot goes, you know, exceeding your court from the net and goes to the other side, you could also be called fault by the umpire and automatically give the point to your opponent. So watch out for that and be very, very careful not to hit the net with your racket or your body. Okay, that was for the uh, badminton rules and regulation. Uh, I hope meron kayong uh, mga natutunan about sa ating lesson no? uh, sa paglalaro ng or sa rules ng uh, singles and sa rules ng doubles. You know? And then, maybe maraming na rin dito sa inyo na gusto na kahit pa paano na uh, may apply no? yung inyong mga na naarad so for now magkakaroon tayo ng activity uh, kung saan may enhance dito ang inyong uh, footworks ang inyong gripping ang inyong strokes and ang inyong ball controlling no? or kung paano nyo controlling yung shuttle cup and then, uh, ito, ipapapanood po sa inyo yung video ng inyong gagawing activity. And then, i-discuss ko kung paano nyo ito gagawin at kung paano nyo ito isasubmit. Ano? So, okay, let's watch this.
dito sa shadow play i-enhance dito ang inyong footworks and the creeping and also the overhead strokes ayan so ang gagawin nyo rito is 5 sets so kada set meron siyang 10 repetition so halimbawa sa set 1 so 10 ulit nyo gagawin ang shadow play and then after nyo gawin bago kayo pumunta ng set 2 syempre uh, rest muna kayo for 30 seconds uh, and then uh, proceed kayo sa set 2 uh, so pagdating sa set 2 ganun din uh, then repetition din then rest for 30 seconds and proceed for the set 3 no? sa part ng set uh, ganun ulit then repetitions and then rest for 30 seconds then proceed sa set 4 then sa set 4 ganun ulit may 10 repetition bago mag proceed sa last set no or sa set 5 and then sa set 5 naman okay ano na siya 30 repetition na so sa set 5 limang set is 30 repetition siya ok so the first to fourth set is 10 repetition lang then sa last set is 30 repetition na lang so then that is for the shadow play Okay, dito naman sa Shutter Valley Yes, okay Enhance naman dito Isang yun yung pag-upon control Or kung paano nyo kontrolin Ang Ang raketa at ang Shutter Valley So, yan po Para ma Kumbaga, masanay kayo Kung paano nyo papaluin Ang malakas or mahina Ang Shutter Valley dito, wala namang limit kung ilan ang magagawa ninyo rito na, na pag-control basta gagawin nyo siya ng proper no? yung naayon sa uh, instruction na ibinigay kanina no? and then uh, siguro ang, ang maximum na natin is uh, 50 but kung kaya mo palagpasan yung 50 na pagkocontrol yes, okay lang naman But kung hindi, uh, okay lang din naman. And then, uh, the next uh, activity or next uh, meeting is mapractice nyo siya hanggang sa makarami kayo or magawa nyo siya ng mas marami na. So, that is for the uh, shuttle valley. is for your activity ayan, so paano nyo siya uh, isasubmit okay uh, i-record nyo siya or i-video nyo siya habang ginagawa ninyo and then dito sa ating google classroom, mag-upload ako ng assigned folder kung saan uh, doon nyo ito i-upload ayan, para ma uh, makita ko ang inyong uh, ginawa No, and then syempre uh, para ma-monitor natin ang inyong mga uh, scores sa paggawa no halimbawa sa ano sa uh, shuttle valley or sa valley shuttle ano 
Ayan. So, kung halimbawa sa unang uh, isinend nyo na or in-upload nyo na video is nakaka, ano pa lang kayo, nakakalima. Ano, and then sa susunod is medyo tumas na nakaka uh, 15 na kayo hanggang uh, nakarami na nakarami, no? So, for the records din ninyo yan, no? But, uh, and then the, ano rin naman, uh, habang or kada linggo naman is magkakaroon din tayo ng dagdag activity no or dagdag drills no para sa pag-enhance ng inyong uh, badminton skills okay uh, so ipapaalala ko lang bago din kayo or bago nyo gawin ang activity na ito is kailangan ninyo syempre ng uh, proper warm up and stretching ano yun so Uh, yung una kong pinapanood sa inyo na video doon sa ating mga past lessons uh, for for warm up for badminton no? so ayun ang gawin ninyo syempre para maiwasan ang, ang mga uh, injuries or mga muscle pain kaya kailangan nyo yan so ayun guys ah uh, ang deadline nyan is until next week ano? so next week uh, magbibigay ulit ako ng bagong uh, activity no, or drills na inyo naman ulit na gagawin so after ng video na ito no, gawin nyo na yan no, so this is your time para gawin yan para next week uh, kumbaga na isubmit nyo na No? or mamaya after nyo gawin pwede nyo nang isubmit din agad para next week wala na kayo isipin kasi magbibigay na ako ng bagong uh, drills ulit no? so ayun lang guys uh, okay you can start na so uh, goodbye and see you next week God bless us all thank you